And then now we can, now it's actually 1.2, okay? Now with this evolution, okay, as a perspective, we, we are actually evolving from single cell, eukaryotic, multi-cell, and then to become more complicated. And here is actually the, we organize the course along, you know, this, this line. And this course is actually taught by three professors. I'm Professor Wong, which will be responsible for the first four lecture, assuming we have 13 weeks, 13, okay. Uh, because of congregation, we only have 12 weeks. And okay, so each professor would roughly teach you four weeks of lecture, okay. One third taught by me, and I will be responsible. So basically, you think about the evolution, how we understand how life works, understand what is life, what is living organism. It's actually that you can actually roughly divide this question into three parts. And my part will be mainly concerning what are the problems that are faced by unicellular organism. This will be my, my part. Okay, if you look at this, okay, I'm I will be covering from the beginning of uh, life at 3.5, 3.8 billion years ago to, I cover a lot of ground, okay, to the evolution of the multicellular organism, okay? And, and Professor Fei Zheng will be uh, responsible after the midterm, okay? Midterm will only cover my parts. And then Fei Zheng will actually talking about the problem faced by multicellular organism, right? And then we have the third professor, Professor Jerome He, and he will be responsible for having how life, you know, if you think about biology, you can think of three questions. Single cell, how the single cell works, how multicellular organism works so that, you know, you, you can imagine in multicellular organism you suddenly have more problems. It's just like uh, you need to do a group project. You need to have coordinations between cells, right? Between individual cells. And Fei Zhang will be responsible for that. And then to the final part, living organism is just not like, uh, like for example, in, in the ecology, in the living environment. Humans do not only exist in this, in this world, right? If this is the case, we will be dead, okay? We are, co we are co existing with many other living organisms, okay? And then that would be the part like this with the, uh, that we're talking, that would be the domain of ecology, life diversity, and evolution. And that part will be covered by Professor Jerome Hoy. Okay? So it's easy. One third single cell, another second third will be multicellular. The final third would be how living organisms interact with each other. Okay? I hope this framework will be helpful to you in your future study, or in your future work. So you try to put what you learn according to this uh, domain, okay? Okay, now it's actually my part. So now we are focusing on the problems that are faced by unicellular, single cell, single cell living organism, okay? And to be honest, even this topic would be a very, very big project, a, a big, a big uh, uh, topic that can be covered in cell biology. We, you know, in the second year, you have a whole course talking about that. You have another whole course talking about biochemistry, also uh, talking about the basic things that are faced by a single cell. Don't get me wrong. The problems that are faced by single cell organisms, they are also equally applied to multicellular organism. You can imagine all the living, or, living organisms, they are evolved from single cell. So a lot of the problems that I discussed in my part, they also almost equally apply to other living organisms because evolution are built on top of previous defined, or previous uh, 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 results. So there's actually three major problems, okay, that I will cover in my lecture that would concerning how the unicellular organism would survive, or the pro problems they need to face in order to survive. Compartmentations, metabolism, and instruction. The first 
will be the focus on today's lecture will be on compartmentations, as I said. In order for, li for, for life, a living organism to occur, there must be a way to define what is in and what is out. Okay. Imagine you have a house, okay, you have a door, you have a boundary, you need to define a boundary. Okay, and this boundary in biology, it means cells. Okay, that's why all the living organisms are organized in cell, a single cell, okay. This compartmentations. Okay, we define then what is here, what is the other room. The second problem is metabolism. Metabolism is actually concerning the con interconversions of energy and biomolecules. I'll give you an example. In order for a cell to survive, it needs to intake energy, right, to eat. Okay, like glucose, you need to intake glucose and then digest the glucose or metabolize the glucose to got the energy from and then use the energy to drive many other cellular processes, okay? We also need, in, in, in addition to energy, you also need the material, okay? I always think of uh, life is like a, you're just playing a Lego. Probably you know what is Lego, if, even if you don't play with Lego before. All the living material or biomolecule are just like different pieces in Lego, okay? What you do is you disassemble the Lego model into different pieces, and then you reassemble to whatever you like, okay? And doing this, you, you need energy to, to do the conversions, right? So this is actually, we call about metabolism, okay? It's an interconversions of energy and matter, okay? For example, if you eat glucose, part of the glucose will be burned into, oxidized into CO2 and water, and some of the glucose may be converted into fat if you, you know, eat more, rice, the rice will turn, the carbohydrate will turn into glucose, and the glucose, uh, some of the glucose will be burned to CO2 to provide the energy that you need for uh, daily life. Some of the excess, you know, calorie will be stored in the form of fat, right? In the conversion of material and change from, you know, the, the, the energy uh, that are required for, for living and uh, for, for, for life phenomenon. So metabolism will be the focus of the second lecture, the next week, okay? And then final, sorry. And then the third is instruction. Basically, it's the genetics, okay? How do the cell knows to do things that it's supposed to do, okay? How do the cell know how to break down glucose into CO2, right? This is actually one important thing, okay? It's actually, we, we know how to do this by the genetic information. We pass the things that we learn, the cells learn, into the form of DNA sequence, and then basically the, you can think of the genes, the DNA sequence, it contains, it's not like a program, it's not like, like a computer program. If you think about the cell is a, a supercomputer, and the DNA are the instructions, telling the cells what to do and when to do things that it's supposed to do. Okay, so that will be the, well, this is actually genetics, this is actually information. How the information are stored and execute, okay, to maintain the, uh, uh, the life phenomenon. Okay, so now this will be the cost outline, okay, in a graphical form. Okay, my, my talk today, as I said, we'll be talking about compartmentation. Next week, I'm talking about uh, energy and life. The third week, we'll be talking about information and uh, well, uh, the genetics uh, on information transfer. And I talk about the final week. Final week, I will talk about um, how uh, it's about uh, evolution. We'll have a capture would be a capstone lecture on how life would actually get more complicated from prokaryotic to eukaryotic cells and from single cells, how it evolved into multicellular organism. Okay, that will be the week number four. And then if you look at the cost outlined, 
So these, the textbook that we are using is the, is the biology, is the, okay, normally we call Campbell Biology. Campbell is actually not my name, but uh, okay, so it's, it already sounds the same. Uh, the, 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 the laser pointer is actually not very good. Okay, it's the it's the author of the of the of this textbook, which is actually a very famous, very rarely adopted textbook in a lot of universities. Okay, not just in CUHK, in the overseas American university. It's a very popular textbook. Uh, it's uh, I think it's still the eleventh uh, editions. And then uh, whenever my slide would also tell you if if I say. Campbell 5.3, it means that it's the chapter 5, session 3 of that textbook, so that you have a, some reference point where to prepare or read or know, uh, 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 read more in, uh, in your, uh, 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 about the lecture. So for example, so this part would be 5.3, so these are the numbers that are corresponding to the lecture that I'm going to talk about, okay? So multicellular organism, Fei Zhang will talk about cell divisions, differentiation, development, and these, okay, I'll probably I don't go through every one of them, okay? And uh, I highly recommend you to buy a copy of the textbook, okay? Um, the textbook is actually quite thick, so about that. Although um, I have to confess I will not cover every chapter, and it covers a lot of ground, but it's cover the, the things that uh, the, this, te this textbook cover is actually cover a lot of rounds, so that uh, I find it's actually quite useful. 